Hey guys, so another video from the 29th. As you know, warm days expected, so we've got to get into these hives. Perfect day for beekeeping. Not a breath of wind. Magnificent. The bees are really happy. I've been through all the four nucleus hives. We've got one that was swarming, that one over there. So we've put some frames in this one, shake some more in. I'll get into it. So I haven't been into this hive for two weeks. Not a massive amount of traffic on that entrance. But a bit. So we'll see how we go. So red hive, as you know, Edmund's queen. She was that beautiful, beautiful queen. Lid stuck down nicely. Never know what to expect. Population's good. Pretty much empty that outside frame. Nectar there, I don't know where they're getting it from. The next frame's the same. That one's the same. So full of pollen. So there you go, honey, pollen. Same on that side, that's all pollen in there. So this box won't be coming off today. There's bees up in here eating away because of the smoke. I'm happy to leave those guys. You know what I might do though? I might shake this off and I'll put this in with a split plenty of honey plenty of pollen that's going in the split that one because I bought these guys down late in the season well you know I didn't really know what I was doing when I bought them down here I'm not expecting to get much out of them this year but we'll jump in this bottom box and see how we go I'm hoping I can grab a couple of frames out of this to chuck in the split. They didn't love that. There's plenty of bees. I've actually done myself a little bit of a mischief. I've bunged up one of my knees. So I've got to sit on a bucket to beekeep. Anyway, let's see what we come up with. Really good population from what I can see initially. Good brood on the outside. Eggs, larvae. Now I think from memory, this queen had worn off her red dot. So that's something for me to consider when I'm jostling around in here. I wouldn't be surprised if I found some swarm cells. Purely because you know, that brood is just spectacular. I'll shake that one off. Let you have a better look. Look at that. Bloody beautiful.
All those have been relayed. Probably going to be a difficult one to take bees out of this hive for a split because of the queen being a bit hard to find. She might not be though, she might stand out like dog's balls. Good brood. Plenty of juicy larvae, look at that. Still making drones. Lots of drones. A massive amount of bees in here. I really would like to take some frames. I could probably take, I could probably nick two frames out of this hive I'm tipping. As soon as I see that queen, they need some room. They definitely need some room. There she is, awesome. So there's our queen there. So before I go too far, I'm gonna take that frame out. Sorry guys, we had some technical difficulties. I, uh, the old camera overheated, but I took those two frames out and I found the queen and they now reside in here. So we've got three frames in there. I'll see if I can find another food frame and we'll just continue looking at the last of this red hive. These guys have been sitting a little bit with the uh, lid partially open. So they've clustered up there because I had to go and quickly uh, fix my technical issues. But these guys have got heaps and heaps of bees in there. So they'll enjoy having those extra couple of frames. So I'll chuck a couple of blank ones in there. So one on that side, I'll shuffle them across. One on that side. That'll give them something to do. There you go, and I'll pop this queen excluder back on. And they're boxed. That was the red hive. All right, guys, thanks for watching this one. Got a few more hives to go through today. Keep an eye out.